Hey guys, today I'm bringing you a pickup video. Um, as you guys can tell by the title, this is a Supreme and Palace pickup video. I wanted to put these two brands together because I have picked up a few things from these two brands recently. Um, and because they're very similar, I thought it'd be good to just merge them into one video. I have a few more pickups that I want to show you guys that I will be putting out in the future. But as I said, I just, want, I just wanted to split up these brands from the other brands that I'll be showing you in the future. Um, so yeah, I have two pieces from Palace, two pieces from Supreme. Um, I'm really happy with these pickups. They're all a real good variety. Um, three t-shirts because I really I, I need t-shirts all the time this is my issue in life like as like if I had one issue in life it would be I just need t-shirts that's it so I picked up three t-shirts all together or shirt should I say and then one jacket so um, let's get into this I hope you guys enjoy it and let's begin before we start I just wanted to um, as I said in my previous video I wanted to talk to you about my little hiatus of why I didn't upload um, because I did kind of go in after for like six or seven months straight which is just like a ridiculously long time um, but I, I am happy to tell you guys about it and I'm happy to share this like information with you guys um, it is kind of weird to like just put it on YouTube and stuff but I guess I feel comfortable telling you guys I don't really care if you guys know and whatnot and plus I think it's important to tell you guys just because I'm so dedicated to this channel and just this like culture and stuff that that, that hiatus was such like a ridiculous thing for me to do or for it to happen so um, but basically what happened was like around the April May time um, I got into a deep anxiety and it just like hit me out of nowhere I didn't really expect it and since then basically I've been dealing with that anxiety even like up to recently up until now I'm only just getting better and just getting my head like um, my head my head's getting better so it's just been like a long six or seven months and you don't really know what anxiety is until until you really get it because before I've had like small anxiety or I said like you know just like I thought I've had anxiety but this was like proper full on like it was so like the thing about it was it was that it just brings irrational thoughts and um, illogical thoughts into your head so in my head I was like I can't do I can't like do this fashion stuff but again like I said it was anxiety thoughts it was just all irrational and it was stupid like and so that's why I don't plan to be taking any more breaks because I don't even do this fashion stuff to like to be cool or to fit in or nothing. I do this because this is all I know, and I, like if I don't do this, then what else am I gonna do? Do you know what I mean? Like, like I can't. If you give up something, you have to go and do something else. Do you know what I mean? Like this is all I know. If I give this up, then what else am I gonna do? To be honest, in my anxiety because I wasn't doing this, it made it that much more worse because I couldn't even be occupied on something. Like I said, there's nothing else I know except for this fashion shit or this fashion stuff, should I say? Um, my bad for my language because I don't really like to swear on camera but um yeah so that's that I'm um, explained I'm sorry about my voice too if it's kind of croaky throughout this um, video because I did go to a Ray Sherman concert yesterday and man it was wild I was just lit I was turning up constantly it was crazy man but yeah my voice is kind of like croaky and whatnot because I was just I was just singing everything and the section boys were um they were they were um supporting as well so they just went off as well but um I, I tried to make the video yesterday but I kept messing it up so that's why because I knew that I'll have this, this voice problem but it's okay um, but that's that all done let's get into this I'll show you guys the pick ups and I hope you guys enjoy it and yeah I just shave I told you I was gonna shave swag swag I'm looking all nice looking all fly um, but yeah my bad my bad my bad um, but yeah that wasn't just some random guy sitting there with a the beard um, in that easy video that was me because I might look a little bit different now um, but yeah so let me just stop talking and let's show you the pick ups and yeah let's get into it so kicking off this video the first thing I want to show you is this palace um, season one Adidas Palace collaboration jacket, which is just a tracksuit top shell top jacket that I picked up. Um, this is from their first collaboration with Adidas, so it is one of their earliest pieces because they have collaborated with Adidas quite a little bit. Um, it's coming up to now at least, um, and they have done quite a lot of collaborations since then. So this is an early piece, but I tell you what, it is a very much a staple piece for Adidas as well as these collaborations because. This was inspired from Adidas early days tracksuit tops which they still sell now on the market and um, which was just their tracksuit tops that I believe released in like the 1990s and um, you know it's just like their basic shell top jacket that you just don't want over anything and that's exactly why I bought it because I just wanted a jacket that I could just throw on with anything and just wear it with anything and because it's such a basic colour just black and white it literally goes with anything and it's something I can just zip up and I don't have to worry about my top half anymore I just put on a pair of jeans and I'm good you know what I mean and the good thing is it looks good with everything so it's a win-win jacket and I really love it it's my go-to jacket right now it's something that I wear quite often to be honest it's not waterproof or anything because it's not meant to be like functional in that sense um, but it's just more of a stylish jacket and like a lifestyle jacket so um, when, it, when it does rain you know it does get soaked sandy but that's about it but let's get into the piece this is the front I just want to show you the front of the back 
and then the back the whole outer shell is made from 100% polyester and it has kind of like a suede feel to it so I really like that that feel to it um, and then it has the branding the palace logo on the left side of the chest which is printed in there um, and it is a velvet print so it's a really nice print um, I really appreciate stuff like this because they go that extra mile to, to put in that extra to put to to work with really good materials for their pieces so and um, when you pay when you're buying a, a jacket or a piece of clothing you don't want it to be made with like crappy crappy materials and whatnot so you know it's a very well put together jacket and i'm very happy with it coming on to the adidas branding down the left hand side it has the iconic three stripes going down the left sleeve as well as that going down the right sleeve which was on the original jacket that this was inspired from um, and then on the back it has an adidas logo i'm not sure if you can see that just embroidered there black on black on the back of the neck and then it has one more piece of branding which is on the zipper it has the adidas original logo once more so there you go a total of three adidas brandings um but yeah it's a very discreet jacket which i really like about that because the palace logo is like i said it's just black on black you can't really see it doesn't catch your eye from afar and i really like that because it's just something that i can wear discreetly and it doesn't really stand out too much and that's like that's why i bought it i'm talking about functionality it has two zippers and um, two zipper jackets on the bottom um, I want to show you one more piece of detailing which is on the inside it has an orange mesh in, uh, in underlay so I really like that detailing just because you know it goes from a monochrome or a monotone black and white to a colourful orange on the inside and it's a piece of detail you don't get to see when you're wearing it so it's something that like you know just the fact that they, they did this with such a nice detailing and um, for something you don't even see just shows that they're, they're, they're putting in great materials for their jacket so again a well, very well made piece very happy with it um, so yeah that was piece number one palace adidas season one um shell top jacket and let's get into number two but before we get into piece number two i actually have that original shell top jacket from adidas lying around actually so i'm gonna go and grab that for you guys and show you that just to compare it to this so i'll just be back in a second oh we oh we Ooh, yeah, I knew I had this somewhere. I just had to do that up for you guys. But yeah, here you go. So you can see this is the original Adidas jacket. You know, you see exactly the same. As like I said, it has the three stripes going down each sleeve. Um, and then the only difference is the branding on the chest. Um, but yeah, this is made with a different material. I think this is like a nylon. But yeah, this is like the original staple piece for Adidas original, just their tracksuit tops. But yeah, like I said, it's just inspired by this, the original top. And yeah, that's piece number one. Let's get into number two. Coming on to the second piece, this is another palace. This is the second palace piece I'll be showing you guys. Um, but I actually picked this up like a few drops ago because recently palace have been like dropping back to back like collections. So they've just been dropping stuff constantly. So the best thing I can give you advice on copying palace is just like go to their website because they do ship worldwide. I kind of understand like abroad, like shipping charges are just ridiculous, but they did do a pop-up shop at LA recently. So they are trying to expand outwards, which is really good for the market. Yeah, uh, this, is, this is piece number two. And I said this was from like two collections or three collections ago where they just dropped this, which was just a purple long sleeve. Um, and I really like this just because it's purple, do you know what I mean? I don't have anything purple in my wardrobe. Uh, and you know, it's nice that they work with different colors like this. Um, so I'm really happy with this pickup and I'm very happy with the colors. I really like shades like this because, you know, it's a very specific shade of purple. This is just like a basic long sleeve that they sell. Um, it's just like, it's 100% cotton. Fit, it fits slightly different from others long sleeves because one thing I realized from these pieces is that I think every season they kind of change up the measurements. I don't know. I don't really know why or how or how they do it or whatever. But this fits different to other palace long sleeves I've owned. Got this in a size extra large again. Fits very nice. The only downside I can say to this is that it fits kind of shorter than I expected to. Just because I'll be showing you another piece in a minute that that's like is an extra large and it fits really well. And um, so I, whenever I buy an extra large or like a large, I expect it to fit the same across the board. But that's something I've also realized is that an extra large won't fit the same here as a, an extra large will fit here even if it's like very similar but yeah that's the purple long sleeve and i'll show you what that looks like on body now um and that was piece number two yep let's get into number three Coming on to number three now, we're going to be moving on to the Supreme pieces because I have two Supreme pieces left to show you guys. Um, and this first piece that I'm going to be showing you guys is uh, another long sleeve. But this is something that I saw and I was like, I instantly need to buy this because it was just like, 
let me just tell you why I like this. First, let me show you it. This is the Comedy de Garçon collaboration with Supreme. Um, and it was actually a very dope collaboration across the board because they dropped quite a few nice pieces. Um, and then they recently did another North Face collaboration, which is just dope as hell. So they've been coming out with some nice collaborations recently. But, you know, long sleeves, like I told you, I need shirts in my wardrobe constantly. Any kind of shirt, any kind of t-shirt that I find that I'm like, this is dope. I like, I try my best to buy it as long as the price isn't too outlandish. Um, but yeah, I saw this and then the retail was £54. Can't complain, not, not a bad price. I think it was actually 48 actually. 54 with shipping, I think. Um, but yeah, so it's not a bad price at all for a long sleeve, considering the next piece I'm going to show you guys was more expensive than this, but this is even better than that. But yeah, this is the Comedy Garçon 1516 Supreme Long Sleeve in a black. They released these in a few outlandish colours, like a blue and a red, I mean uh, a, a yellow and a red and whatnot. So it's, uh, this is just a staple colour, I thought, you know, you can't go wrong with black. And then the white contrasting print, just like the just like the palace so it looks really nice one thing that really sold me for this is the print and the fact that it goes onto the sleeve i really really i don't know what it is and like genuinely like for like two seasons now for like two years or like a year i love the way this looks like you know when they print something and it like it extends onto like the sleeve or like if it's on the back and it extends all the way across the back onto the sleeves i love the way that looks because palace recently did that with the collection too it just looks so dope to me so as soon as i saw that i was like damn i need this and it's just it's a very nice piece um but yeah this is just a basic again basic 100% cotton made long sleeve size extra large again um, and then it has a basic screen print with the with the branding on it this fits perfectly i love the way this fits as i said that palace is an extra large but it comes up a bit short this is an extra large and literally the length is so perfect and the way it fits is so nicely fit and um, fitting oversized so it's a great piece for to add to my wardrobe i'm really glad i managed to pick this up it's just plain on the back one thing i'd say to you you know what happened on the day this released Bam. I woke up, yeah, like, what was it, it was 10.45 I woke up, yeah, and then I was like, okay, I was tired in it, so I, I, I closed my eyes, fam, I woke up, yeah, at like 10 past 11, I was like, whoa, I felt like slapping myself, because I woke up specifically to buy this piece, and man fell asleep, what the hell am I meant to do, do you know what I mean, like, and then, so it saw that instantly, but you know what happened, you know how I managed to get this, my mate, my friend Sarush, yeah, he was like, yo, they're still in stock, oh, no, no, it wasn't even him, Oh no 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 so actually I think I found out or oh, actually it was actually it was yeah yeah it was it was he was like yo there's still a stock on Dover Street Market so I was like yo okay I need to get there um I went you know because comedy Com Com guys on um stocks on Dover Street Market that's their like um website so I went onto Dover Street Market it was still in stock I almost took another L fam I take too many L's on pickles because like I told you, I got the Yeezys luckily I had to work hard for that. This I almost took an L on. Like when stuff releases, yeah, I'm always like missing out and it just sucks. But I'm getting my pieces when I get when I have to get them. So yeah, that's the Comedy Gas and Supreme. I'll show you what that guy looks on. Moving on to piece number four, this is the final piece I'll be showing you guys, another Supreme piece. Um, and this is something that I picked up early in the season because their, 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 their fall winter season had just ended for Supreme. Like they just recently did their last drop last week um, where they dropped the boggles, um, the, the box logo. Actually, yeah, it was literally last week. Um, so yeah, this is the fourth piece and this is a Supreme jersey top um, which I picked up like on the third or fourth week in their drop. Um, but yeah, I really like this piece. Another extra large, this um, size extra large that fits. Um, but yeah, just a basic t-shirt, 100% cotton. But it has a different piece of detailing where you don't really see this a lot. But it has um, printing and detailing in the ribbing of the hem, the neck hem, um, instead of anywhere on the top. So I thought that was a really dope feature, something that you don't really get to see a lot. And um, if I show you the bottom as well. You can see it kind of has like a jersey um, stitching there that you really see on jerseys like you know for example NBA jersey you'll see like printing here with sizes and stuff so uh, that was a nice touch too. This is a very thick cotton size extra large as I said fits very nice um, you know it doesn't fit oversized but it fits long so that's that's all I really need to need it just like has the supreme going all around it all the way around to the back. Um, one, one reason why I bought this piece was because if you saw like a few seasons ago they dropped a long sleeve in a very similar style to this where they had ribbing print like this sim very similar to this here and it was a long sleeve and then on the sleeves they had printing I think as well so I thought that was dope like that, when I saw that piece I was like this is a dope piece but by the time I saw it it was already sold out so the fact that they did it again 
um, but for a t-shirt version I was like okay I need to get this um, so I instantly I woke up for this this time I did manage to wake up for this and I didn't oversleep which does happen a lot actually so <laughs> it's a good thing that I did get it um, but yeah um, what else was I gonna say Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This retail, this retail for sixty pounds. As I said, you know, it's a that's a lot, you know, for a t-shirt, especially for Supreme because the t-shirts are normally like thirty-five pound. But this, this was like under the category of a jersey, not a t-shirt. So I think that's why because it was it's like a cotton sew piece and made differently and manufactured in a different sense. Um, but yeah, so sixty pound for this. I would like I wasn't I didn't want to drop that but I really wanted this piece just because it's like I like the way I, I need I wanted something with neck ribbing um with um detailing so this was the only thing I could really see um that was on the market um and yeah that is the four supreme piece That's all for today um thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys enjoyed all those pickups um, coincidentally, actually, um, my boy Chiron over at Got Swipe Productions, I don't really know how to say that, Got Swipe Production, um, he just did a Palace and Supreme Pickup video too, coincidentally, like on the same day that I was making this video, so um, I'll, I'll link that in the description for you guys to go check out too, just because, you know, it's, it's nice that he did that too, and he got some dope pickups too, so that'll be in the description. Um, I'll also put some social handles in the description too, for you to guys to check out if you guys want to see um, my Instagram, my Twitter, or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's all from me. I'm working on a rough series the brand history video just because I've really been interested in reading in Ralph Simmons recently so I've been getting a lot of detail put together for that um, and I also have a few more pickup videos coming up yeah I hope you guys enjoy my future videos I hope you guys enjoyed this videos and I'll catch you guys later thanks for watching